Hello, my name is David Cottrell. I'm a Health and Safety Officer for Highbury College. This short induction will cover health, safety, environmental and COVID controls. Safety is really important to Highbury College. We have many measures in place to ensure you remain safe at all times. That said, we do ask you to take reasonable care of your own safety and that of others. We ask you to understand the cause hazards and to listen to the tutor's controls about safety. We also ask you to use all equipment safely as well. We take fire safety very, very importantly at Highby College. We have many measures in place to ensure fire safety is strictly adhered to at all times. If, however, you hear a fire alarm activation, we expect you to act really quickly. We don't expect you to spend valuable time picking up your belongings. When you exit your classroom workshop, we ask you to look for the green fire exit sign as indicated on this screen. The green fire exit sign will take you to the shortest route out the building and to the final fire exit door. If the route is blocked for any reason, then we ask you to take an alternative route out of the building and look for more far green fire exit signage. Once you exit the building, then it's important that you go straight to the designated assembly point and wait for further instruction. Your course tutor will locate you and check you off on the register to make sure you're counted for. The fire marshals will then sweep for the buildings to make sure there's no more people unaccounted for. That can take between five to 10 minutes. If the fire alarm does stop sounding, we don't ask you to enter the building. We ask you to wait for further instruction. The map on the screen is Highby Campus. You will see there's four assembly points, A, B, C and D. When you're in your classroom, workshop, work area, you will see a fire action notice as displayed on the bottom right hand corner of this screen. The fire action notice will display the assembly point that you need to go to. If you follow the green fire exit signage, then it will take you automatically to that designated assembly point. Within Highby campus, the four assembly points are A, the main car park, B, the far end of the car park by automotive, C, the grassed area by the tower, and D, the area by the sports centre. Once you're at the assembly point, please wait for instruction. Highby Campus has six stairwells. However, only five of these stairwells are fire protected. That means they're a separate fire compartment and that can hold fire back and smoke back for 30 minutes. The main stairwell in reception, as indicated on this map, is not a fire protected stairwell and it will not protect you from fire nor smoke. We ask you upon the activation of a fire alarm not to use this stairwell. If you follow the green fire exit signage, it will take you away from this stairwell and to the fire protected stairwells in other parts of the building. If you're located in the tower for classes, then upon the activation of a fire alarm, you've got two escape routes to choose from. As indicated on the map, you can either go left along the corridor or right along the corridor. This will then take you to a fire protected stairwell. If you're located at North Harbour campus, then it's exactly the same method of evacuation as Highby campus and the tower. Again, upon the activation of a fire alarm, immediately exit the building as quick as you can within four minutes. Do not collect your belongings. Follow the green fire exit signage to the final fire assembly point wait at the assembly point and wait for further instruction.
This is a map of North Harbour. As you can see, there's many exit routes from the building and it's also three assembly points as indicated on the map. The fire action notice within your workshop work area will provide you with the assembly point to go to. If you're located at either Arundel Street 1, 2 or 3, then again it's the same method of evacuation as in North Harbour, Highby Campus and the Tower. The assembly point at Arundel Street is at the cul-de-sac within the precinct. If you have difficulty in walking or have difficulty in hearing, then this could impede your escape from the building due on a fire alarm activation. What's important is that you can evacuate the building safely. If you cannot use a stairwell because you have walking impairments, then it's important that you tell your short course tutor and in turn they tell me. In this circumstance, I shall conduct a personal emergency evacuation plan. This would involve potentially the use of an evacuation chair in which we can take you down the stairs at, in this method. The personal emergency evacuation plan will be wrote specifically for you and will ensure that you can safely evacuate the building during the fire activation. Run, hide, tell is a government and police procedure. This essentially involves, in the rare circumstance, a person entering the building with intent on causing harm. It could be somebody with a weapon, like a firearm or a knife. If somebody does come into the building with intent on causing harm, a member of staff will dial 11111 four ones on the internal phone system. This in turn will go to a designated member of staff who can within a short period of time put a message on every single monitor screen through the college. If you do see that run hide tell message appear on your monitor screen, it's important that you act really quickly. You have two considerations to think about. First of all, can you run? Can you run to a place of safety? If you're by the final fire exit door, by the entrance to the building, and there's a clear route um, out of the building, then this will be the first option. If you can't run, then it's important that you hide. It could be a case of hiding in the classroom, the workshop, a room within the workshop, a room within the classroom. If you can't lock the door from the inside, then we advise you to barricade the door with tables and chairs, turn the light off and to put your phones onto silent and hide. Then the towel is to call 999 and inform the police. So just to recap, if one hide towel is displayed on any monitor screen, it is important that you act really quickly. First consideration is can you run to a place of safety? If not, then you hide hide in the classroom, in the workshop. If you can't lock the door, barricade the door, then call the police by dialing 999. Every Highby College staff member, every Highby College visitor, every Highby College contractor, and every Highby College student is provided with an ID card. The ID card should be, should be worn at all times unless when using machinery. The ID card provides us with information about you and whether you should be in the building. If you're not wearing an ID card, you will be stopped and you'll be asked questions. That said, if you do forget your ID card, then please report to reception and we'll issue a temporary ID card. We do ask you, however, that if you're getting into a vehicle, you do take your lanyard ID card off from around your neck. It's been reported that there's been two accidents in the past involving people wearing lanyards around their neck, having accidents and the airbag exploding and causing a serious injury for the lanyard going into the body of the person. Your security and safety is our main priority. 
Highbury College operates a one entrance policy. This is for your safety and security. Slips and trips are the single most biggest cause of accidents in the workplace. We do ask you to be mindful of your actions whilst at Highbury College. If you do cause a spillage on the floor, then please inform a member of staff and we'll get it cleared up as soon as possible. Also, if you have a rucksack, please do try not to leave it by the side of your chair, as this can cause a, a trip hazard for people passing by. Also, please dispose of your litter in the bins provided. And if, if you're having to wait in a corridor for your classroom door to be opened, then please do not, do not try to block the corridor and cause a hazard. Also, when using your mobile phone, please be very mindful of what's going on around you. We've had, we've had accidents in the past involving people falling down stairs and tripping over whilst using their mobile phone. If you do see a potential hazard, then please report it to a member of staff and we'll get it immediately dealt with. Highbury College has an excellent first aid reporting system in place. We have a team of fully qualified first aiders who can be summoned to treat you immediately. If you do have an accident, then please inform your course tutor or go to reception. It will then be um, a mandatory for you to complete an accident reporting form so then we can investigate the accident and find out how it happened and to try and prevent a reoccurrence. We have first aid boxes located in most areas of the building and we have first aid rooms both at North Harbour and Highbury campus. If you require a first aider or you require emergency assistance, then please use an internal phone and call 000. This signage is located in every classroom and every workshop throughout all buildings. If you're working in a workshop at North Harbour or Highbury campus and a notice is displayed on the door or within the workshop requiring the use of personal protective equipment, then you must ensure you're wearing the required PPE at all times. This could be safety shoes or it could be goggles etc. If you do not have your safety shoes or goggles or other forms of PP on you when you arrive at college then you must inform your course tutor immediately. PPE is required for one reason only and that is to protect you. If you're not wearing your PPE and an accident does occur then it could mean that the accident is far more serious than if wearing your PPE. Every workshop, both within North Harbour and Highbury campus, has a risk assessment health and safety notice board. All activities that you undertake within the workshops has been risk assessed and the risk assessments are then provided on these notice boards. Risk assessments are required by health and safety law and it's important that you understand all the controls required for each activity please take time to have a look at these risk assessments and to understand the course control measures. Every classroom and every workshop, both within North Harbour, Highby Campus and Arundel Street has a poster displaying all the health and safety hazards for that environment and also fire safety measures. Please take time to have a look at these as these provide valuable information. Highbury College under health and safety law has a duty to maintain a safe and secure place for all learners and people to work in. Under no circumstances should anybody bring any items such as blades, weapons, alcohol, controlled drugs, legal highs or stolen articles into Highbury College. If we suspect a student as having one of these items, we will call the police and search accordingly. Your safety is our priority at Highbury College. Smoking and e-cigarettes are completely banned within all buildings at Highbury College. That said, we do have designated areas within the college site for you to smoke. Highbury College has many measures in place to ensure 
that we are kind to the environment. We ask you as students to ensure that you put your litter in the correct bin, that when you finish with your computer, that you turn the computer off and the monitor off, that if you're last to leave the classroom or workshop, that you turn the light off. Also, no food or drink is permitted in both classrooms or workshops. The only drink permitted is bottled water. And I'd just like to emphasise the importance of drinking lots of water whilst at college. Water keeps you hydrated. It keeps you, it keeps you, um, your eyes from becoming tired and it helps you focus. So it's really good practice to try and drink at least two bottles of water a day whilst at college. You will feel the benefit massively. Cycling is a, an environmentally good way and cheap way to get around the city and to get to college. Both Highby Campus and North Harbour have cycle compounds where you can keep your bike. That said, it is really important that you get a really good cycle lock to, to try and to ensure your bike remains secure. A Crips Night D lock is one lock you can buy that is relatively good and secure. Always think safety when riding your bike. If it's dark, always have your lights on. And if you're riding your bike, always make sure you've got a cycle helmet. If an accident occurs, occurs between a cyclist and a motorist, the motorist always fares much better than the cyclist. All college car parks operate a speed limit of five miles per hour. If you are driving in a car park, please observe the one-way systems that are in place. If you're walking through a car park, please be mindful of the vehicles around you and try to refrain from using your mobile phone until you've exited the car park. Harvey College has now introduced really strict coronavirus control measures to ensure all people within our buildings remain as safe as possible. COVID-19 or coronavirus is a virus that is spread from person to person. Symptoms of COVID-19 can range from mild or no symptoms to severe illness. You can become infected by coming to close contact with a person who has COVID-19. That is why we try to maintain the two metre distance. You can become infected from respiratory droplets or aerosols when the infected person coughs, sneezes or talks. You can also become infected by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching your mouth, nose or eyes. There is currently no vaccine to protect against COVID-19. The best way to protect yourself is to avoid being exposed to the virus that causes COVID-19. Avoid close contact with people, clean and disinfect frequently touched services, and wash your hands with soap or water for at least 20 seconds, or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Everyone is at risk from getting COVID-19. Older adults and people of any age who have serious underlying health conditions may be at higher risk of more serious illness. We are now moving on to the college control measures against COVID-19. At all times whilst walking the building, please ensure that the two metre social distance is it's strictly adhered to, and this includes not walking together. Highby College has introduced one-way systems across most corridors. Some areas across the college have two-way systems in place. In these circumstances, you will need to keep to the left-hand side of the corridor. Signage will, in, will identify whether routes are one-way or two-way systems. 
The college has also introduced one-way systems across most of the stairwells. No crossing on stairwells unless signs permit, and this includes the workshop stairwells as well. Under no circumstances should more than one person travel in a lift. Where possible, use the stairs to navigate the building. Classrooms have been specially set up to ensure social distancing. Please do not under any circumstances move the tables or chairs unless permitted to do so by the course tutor. In cases where closer contact work is required between students, the college will then provide the required personal protective equipment. To prevent cross-contamination of COVID-19, please use your own stationery when attending college and do not share other people's stationery. Frequently wash your hands with soap and water. Hybe College has approximately 90 hand sanitizer stations that are located throughout all areas of the building. You should wash your hands before and after leaving the workshop or classroom. If you sneeze or cough into your hands, if your hands become contaminated, before eating and every few hours. Local rules will apply to areas such as workshops and other work areas. Your course tutor will provide you with these workshop rules when you attend a workshop for the first time. These rules could include rules such as only one person allowed to enter the workshop tool store at any one time, only one person permitted to enter the changing rooms at any one time, or the particular one-way systems for that workshop. Student occupied areas such as the workshops, classrooms, communal areas or work areas will be monitored by staff. Where deliberate infringements to social distancing are identified, then this will be dealt with accordingly. Upon the activation of a fire alarm, it is really important that you follow the green fire exit signage to the final fire exit door. Under normal circumstances, we'll be following the yellow one-way systems as this tries to maintain social distancing. However, the fire alarm activation takes priority and you should always follow the green fire exit signage to the final fire exit door, then exit to and assemble at the designated assembly point. Remember the green fire exit signage takes priority always over the yellow one-way systems. Upon entering Hybe College, you will be asked to take your temperature. A temperature of 37.8 degrees or more will indicate a high temperature and you, not, you will not be permitted to enter the college. COVID-19 has three main symptoms to be mindful of. A high temperature, a new continuous cough, or a loss or change of your sense of smell or taste. If you have one of these three symptoms, then please do not attend college and contact NHS by dialing 119.